بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از ڈاکٹر موزم ٹیوانا اینڈ ٹوڈیز لیکچر از اباؤٹ دی چینلائزیشن آر او وی ایس ایف کوڈس وچ آر یوزڈ ان تھری جی ڈبلیو سی ڈی ایم اے آر وچ از آلسو نون ایز دی تھری جی یو ایم ٹی ایس نا فرسٹ آف آل واٹ از دا پرپز آف چینلائزیشن کوڈس بیسیکلی دا پرپز آف چینلائزیشن کوڈس از ٹو ڈسٹنگوش بٹوین دا چینلس دیٹ از دیٹ آر کمنگ فرام دی سیم ٹرانسمیٹر فار ایگزامپل ان دا ڈاؤن لنک اٹ از دی موبائل نوڈ بی آر دی بیس اسٹیشن وچ از دی ٹرانسمیٹر اینڈ ہیئر وی کین سی دیٹ دیر آر سیون چینلز ان دا ڈاؤن لنک سو ان آڈر ٹو ڈفرینشیٹ بٹوین دیز سیون چینلس دے ول بی ایچ اسائنڈ different channelization code like we have channelization code one here for the first channel channelization code number two for the second channel channelization code number three for the third channel uh, and channelization code four for the fourth channel as they are coming from the base station so we have seven different codes for seven uh, these seven different channels and these are channelization codes and similarly in the uplink it's the mobile station that is the transmitter so in that case here there are three channels that are coming from this mobile station to the base station so in order to differentiate these three channels coming from this mobile station we assign the channelization code number one to the first mobile uh, channel channelization code number two to the second channel and channelization code three to the third channel and when we have this mobile it is as it is a different transmitter so we can reuse these channelization codes now uh, the type of channelization codes that are used in the 3g are known as the orthogonal variable spreading factor or ovsf codes uh, what is meant by orthogonal and what is meant by the variable spreading factor we will talk about uh, it later on first we briefly touch upon the spreading for example this is the data we are going to send 010010 this means that here i have 1 here i have 0 here i have 0 here i have 1 and then i have a 0 so this is the data that i want to send uh, now in order to uh, s- s- when we multi- we multiply it with this spreading code which has a spreading factor of 8 this means that this da- user data rate will be data rate will be spreaded 8 times and there are 8 chips in this spreading code this means this one is a chip this minus 1 is another chip so the each bit in the spreading code is known as the chip so we have one here minus one here again minus one here and so on so when we multiply this spreading code to this one we see that it is being uh, the rate of the signal original sig1 has increased and it has increased eight times because we are multiplying it with the signal having uh, eight times chip rate and at the receiver we again multiply it with the same uh, spreading signal uh, so and the signal will get d spread and we will get the original one and same is the case with 0 other 0 10 that they are each being multiplied by the same spreading code spread uh, with the spreading factor of 8 and then they are being getting d spreaded at the receiver so because these signals increase the bandwidth of the original user data rate so we no call them as the spreading codes and at the receiver they are again d spread to the original uh, frequency bandwidth now we come to the question that how the spreading codes are generated for example we have the fir- uh, one is the first spreading code and as there is one chip in this code uh, so this means that uh, um, it its spreading factor is 
this means it is not spreading the signal so in order to increase the spreading factor of this code uh, we have to increase the length of this code this means we have to have more chips in this code so for example and how we do we increase its uh, length basically we use matrix operation to uh, generate the longer spreading codes which have lo uh, higher spreading factors for example uh, here in order to increase its length we will make another matrix which is h2 and each this h2 matrix would be made by h1 matrix by putting h1 matrix here h1 matrix here h1 matrix here and the uh, negative of h1 mat matrix here so when i do it here I get 1, 1, 1 and then the negative of H1 minus 1. So here I can see that there are two chips in these codes. So this means that this code has a spreading factor of 2. So this code has a spreading factor of and if I want to further increase the spreading factor then I have to do the uh, and I, I increase it by two times means I have a code want to have a spreading factor of four so what do I do I will uh, do the same operation with h2 as I did for h1 to generate h2 so I put h2 here h2 here h2 here and minus of h1 here so here i uh, i have so i get four codes this is my code number 1 this is my code number 2 this is my code number 3 and this is my code number 4 and here I uh, in this case I had two codes this was my code number 1 and this is my code number 2 with a spreading factor of 2 and these four codes have a spreading factor of 4 what is meant by these codes are orthogonal for example I multiply this one these two codes 1 1 1 and minus 1 1 minus 1 I multiply them 1 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 so I you see I have equal number of ones and minus 1 so if I add all of the them I get 0 this means that if I multiply and add any of two codes in this matrix I would get 0 similarly if I multiply these codes and add them the answer is 0 so here you can see that from 1 I have generated two codes so I can construct a tree here that this is my first code with the spreading factor of 1 and I generated two codes of spreading factor 2 so here uh, C21 means spreading factor is equal to 2 and it is the first code c22 spreading factor is 2 and it is the second code and then uh, after that you can see here that from 1 1 I can have this code and from again from 1 1 I have this code so I am generating two other codes from 1 1 so this means that from 1 1 there are two daughter codes are, uh, it generates two other codes and similarly 1 minus 1 here uh, has generated this code and 1 minus 1 has generated this code so I get a tree so one peculiar feature uh, of these codes is that all the I cannot use the codes in the same branch uh, same path for example if I am using this code then all its further branches like this code I cannot choose this code I cannot choose 
why is that because this as this code is generating this code so these two codes are not orthogonal similarly as this code is generating that code so it is they are not orthogonal orthogonal so the so for the codes to be orthogonal it is necessary that they are from different branches for example if i use this code uh, of spreading factor 2 and i use another code of spreading factor 4 then i would choose this code or this code and i can never choose uh, and if for example uh, i am using this code of spreading factor 2 i would not able to use this code of spreading factor 4 Now we come to uh, the uh, spreading principle of OVSF codes and why it is important and why we have different spreading factors are uh, variable spreading factors uh, and this is an important question. For example, here this is a user data and it is being multiplied by OVSF code and after the multiplication we see that the signal has spread it. So in WCDMAR 3G, uh, this signal is spread by 5 megahertz and it is uh, it it is not less and it is not more than 5 megahertz and this signal would have a chip rate of 3.84 mega chips per second so so and this is also constant so when this signal is sent over the air interface it is affected by noise and interferences and when it receives uh, reaches the receiver it is again multiplied by the ovsf code so, and what again what ovsf code would do uh, when we are using the same ovsf code that was used at the transmitter this will despread this red signal uh, this, it would despread uh, this green signal sorry this would green uh, despread this green signal and we would get the original signal that we want and that was transmitted at the signal uh, at the transmitter but at the same time uh, the noise and the interference they would get spread it you can see the, as noise is being multiplied by the OVSF code so it is getting spreaded and similarly interference would also get spread because it is being multiplied by the OVSF code so we get a gain between the uh, signal that we intend and noise and interference this gain is the processing gains this means our required signal is this much higher from the noise and interference so if we are using a code of higher spreading factor then this uh, noise and interference would be spread even more and we would get even more processing gains so this means higher the spreading factor higher is the processing gain and more robust is our communication against the noise and interferences because uh, because uh, the noise and interferences are being spread more and we would get less bit rate uh, less bit error rates and we have get less error in the communication so if we go to the formulas spreading factor or the processing gain is equal to chip rate over bit rate and we know that chip rate for in WCDMA is constant and it is 3.84 mega chips per second so I can write the spreading factor is inversely proportional to the bit rate so from this I can infer that if I have a low spreading factor then I would have a low processing gain or my communication would be less robust against the noise but on the plus side I would get higher data rate of the user means more bit rate less robust against the noise and when I have used higher spread spreading factor so in that case as it is inversely proportional to bit rate I would have low bit rate but on the other hand I have would have high processing gain and my communication would be more robust against the noise this means i am getting lower bit rate but i am also getting 
low probability of bit error or low error in the communication and so here is the relationship between different spreading factors and data rates so i can when my spreading factor is the lowest in the downlink uh, it means it is spreading eight times the original user data i get the maximum bit rate of 384 kbps for the packet data when i have a sp i spread increase the star spreading factor i see that the user bit rate is decreasing and when i increase the sp spreading factor to 512 then user data decreases to 1.7 kbps and it is very low uh, data rate but when this uh, spreading factor is increasing the robustness of the communication against noise or the error that the noise is producing would also decrease so these higher uh, this higher uh, spreading factor of 512 uh, I use it for my signaling and SMS because signaling is the most critical part and also SMS is also uh, important so I want to have the minimum bit rate for the signaling as the operation of the networks depends upon uh, good signaling and if signaling is lost uh, many functionalities of the network is lost so I am getting a low bit rate of 1.7 kbps but it is very robust against the noise and which is my purpose in the case of signaling so this is for uh, now uh, thanks for being patient with me uh, see you in some uh, next lecture and don't forget to subscribe to my channel